What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mix Me BLB and I made a video on this a little while back explaining how to um, set up voice meter banana with several applications or softwares on your computer but I feel like that video is kind of outdated so I just felt like I need to make a, a better version, an updated version because some things has changed um, especially the version of, of uh, voice meter banana and I'm also on Windows 11 now and in that last video I was in Windows 10, Windows 10. I will link that video down in the description or have it pop up on the screen one or the other so that if you guys are running an older version of voice meter banana or if you are on Windows 10 that video should help you out but a lot of things are similar but there are some differences so let's get into it and I'll show you guys how to set this up obviously you're going to you're going to want to have to download voice meter banana you just google it and click on the first link it will bring you to voice meter banana and you're going to have to download it you're also going to need virtual audio cable you're going to need to download this I believe it's free you can just download it for Windows I think it's free at least. I own them already. And you're also going to need a uh, virtual cable A and B. You need these guys in order for everything to work um, flawlessly, smoothly, and just as how I'm going to explain it in the video. They are necessary in order to in order to route certain audios from certain apps and softwares to, 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 to one another so it could communicate with voice meter. So you're gonna have to get these. I think you have to pay for them. But when you guys get that sorted out, you're gonna head straight into your computer's audio. So I'm on Windows 11. You wanna go to sound settings. This window will pop up. You wanna scroll all the way down to the bottom and go to more settings, more sound settings. Then this little window will pop up. You go to playback and make sure that everything in this um, playback section is disabled, everything. The only thing you want to be set to ready is the cable A, cable B, the cable input, set those on ready because you will be using them, and voice meter aux input. It needs to be set at default device, and everything else related to voice meter, keep that on ready and also voice meter input so one was aux input this one is the regular input so see this one is auxiliary aux and this one is regular this one you want to set to default communication device so the first one default device this one default communication device everything else related to uh, voice meter leave that on ready and on the recording section you want your i'm i'm guessing you're using some type of uh, interface audio interface or whatever source that you run your audio through whether if it's headphones I don't know a USB microphone I don't know what you guys are using but I'm using the audio interface um, so I got that to my line input from my audio interface so you guys are gonna just want to make sure that your main microphone is connected here and set as default device everything else you should disable it everything related to voice meter you keep on ready so cable a cable b this one um this one also on ready this one on ready this one everything on ready all right so now you guys can open up voice meter banana and i'm gonna show you how to hook it up um let's start to the far left the first channel this is your microphone so right click rename this to microphone or mic and then you want to click right here right underneath the title and you're gonna make sure you make sure you go on WDM and select your microphone from in here. I'm using my audio interface, so this is my line signal from my microphone. So make sure you select that one, and then you're done with that. Also, make sure it's set to mono here and B2. It has to be specifically set to B2 because B2 is routed to the computer's main audio. And we're going to get into that. Um, I'm an audio engineer, so I use Studio One. So I have my Studio One also routed here, but it can work with any type of um, sound that you're trying to get out of it. So what I want you guys to do is just rename this to Music or Media Player or, or Studio One, if you will, or you know Pro Tools or whatever it is you're trying to do. Um, here's where that signal is going to be ran through. Rename that. Also click here. And you want to make sure that this is set to MME Multimedia, right? And you go to Virtual uh, Cable Output VB Audio Virtual. It needs to specifically be set to Virtual, this one right here. And then you're all good to go. And let's say you want to connect Discord. Here's where you do that. So you just rename this to Discord. Um, click on it. And you want to go to WDM. 
and use cable A. Cable A output, that's what you wanna be using. And then set this to A1 and then leave it like this for now. Voice meter aux input is the right one right here. You wanna rename this to computer. This is your desktop or name it desktop. This is where all the audio from your entire computer, from your game, from everything that you're playing will be ran through here first. So that's the auxiliary. So this is that. And connections, I named this part connections because this is like basically what I said with like your Studio One, your Windows Media Player, anything that you basically want to also connect as a secondary, that's what's going to happen here. So this one is voice meter input. And that's this one. That's why I said, uh, make sure it's set to default communication device. So this is just connections. So that's why we're setting it up like this. And this section here is routed to B2. So that's why the microphone is ran through here. And this one is ran as B1. So that's, if you were using this for your, um, for your, for your microphone, it would be then set to B1. But the way I have it set up, I'm using B2. So make sure your microphone is set to B2. So for the connections, you wanna make sure that this is set to A2. And for the computer, the desktop, you wanna make sure that this is set to A1. And we're gonna configure these two right up top here. You wanna click on A1 and you wanna go to ASIO and connect whatever your, I'm using an audio interface, right? I don't know what you guys are using. I don't know how it, how it would work otherwise, but here is where all of my audio gets routed in my whole entire computer. Everything is routed through my audio interface. If you guys make beats or you're an engineer or whatever it is, you make music, you have an audio interface, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All the audio gets routed through the interface, including your mic and everything. So that's what I got this set up to. It's very important to set this up to whatever your main output is. So if speakers or your monitor or whatever it is that is routed, the audio of your computer is routed to, you got to use it right here. So when you finish with that, you go to A2, you go to MME Multimedia, and you have to make sure that this is set to cable input VB Audio Virtual C. It has to be set to Virtual C. Another important note that you guys need to know is if you are using an audio interface like I am, you're going to want to go to the software that comes with your audio interface and you want to make sure the sample rate is set the same everywhere. So if it's uh, 44,000, you make sure a, a voice meter is also set to 44,000 or your OBS is set to 44,000 or your, um, your DAW the software where you record or you make your music in. Also, the sample rate has to be 44,000 or 48,000. Everything has to be in sync with each other. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't if they do not match. But from my experience, most of the time it doesn't work. You get some difficulties and issues if they don't match, but you always should go and check to make sure that everything is um, the same sample rate. So right now mine is 44,000. Voice meter banana is also set to 44,000 right here. If you want to change that, you go to menu and you go to system settings, uh, the output A main device. You see, you can individually change them. Um, 44, 44, 44, 44. Now um, let's open up studio one so we can see if the audio is routed through our studio one. So now that I got this set up, you want to, and you're in studio one or whatever software you're using, whatever DAW, you want to go to wherever uh, the audio setup is. Here it's audio setup, audio device, and your audio, audio device, you're going to make sure that that is set to voice meter virtual. It has to be set to voice meter virtual for this to work. And the sample rate, of course, like I told you, if it's 44,000, you do 44,000. If it's 48, you do 48. And then you accept. And then to test it out, you press play. AR, go get that. Um, you go here, and as you can see, it's working. But because we have not assigned an output, you might not be hearing anything. Every day so, I wake up, I'm just trying to live the best um, one. This part best one. is where you connect either A, we only A1. The so then one. if you click A1, you should be able to hear it. Be the next one. And A2 shouldn't work for this one. You just need to use A1. Open up OBS. And you're going to want to follow what I do. 
So go to file, settings, uh, audio. The first one, you're gonna wanna have that set to voice meter auxiliary input, the VAIO one. Very important because that's what we has it. Well, that's how we have it set up in the voice meter banana. And the second one, you gotta make sure that's set to um, cable A, input cable A, because that's gonna be our Discord. Discord is also set to cable A, as you can see. So make sure that this is cable A. And the third one is our microphone. So make sure you select whatever your microphone source is. For the third one, that's mic auxiliary audio. And for this one, if it's disabled, you click cable output output VB audio virtual cable. It's very important that you use the virtual cable. That's the regular one. Cable output, VB audio virtual cable. And then you hit apply and you press OK. Make sure the sample rate is also um, 44,000. Like I said, it has to be set like that throughout everything, right? And you want to go to output, you go to recording. And you make sure you it depends how much audio sources that you have i have four and each of them are separate and divided so that when if you're using an editing software that you can um control or edit each individual audio signal because if you don't do this all the signals so your 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 voice your game or your desktop or your discord everything will be compiled into one audio file and you can't do any separation so in order to fix that you're going to have to use audio track um and take tick as many boxes as you have so i have desktop that's one my microphone for example my studio one for example and my discord so i only have four as you can see here i also have four so I'm gonna use four. Um, and then you're gonna have some stuff down here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the first one is set to desktop or game, if you're a gamer. And the second one, you wanna name it to Discord. The third one, you wanna call it your mic. As you can see, the mic is working. And the fourth, the fourth one, you wanna call it Studio One. You just rename all of them, and then you're good to go. So let's see if Studio One will actually pick up I mean, OBS will actually pick up my Studio One. So let's go back to Studio One, press play, and then we're gonna go back into go back to OBS, and OBS is picking up my signal, as you can see. Um, and there's nothing yet, nothing you have to do in here. It's just A1, and you can hear it. So now we're gonna check the Discord. Everything works good so far. We're gonna go into Discord. It's pretty simple. You go into settings. You go into voice and video, I think, and then you click voice. You make sure that your uh, microphone is selected. And here's where you connect the output as cable A so that we can have connection with voice meter banana. So once you set this to cable A, you're good to go. You just leave, leave everything as it is, adjust it to how you feel fit. And this is, a, this is it. I don't have anyone to call, but if you did, it would just pop up here and it would be picked up by OBS as well. Um, make sure you right click, go to advanced, and you have to make sure this is set to MXL mic. So you, whatever your mic is, your mic, your microphone, you make sure it's set to mono. And all of these things right here, you make sure they're set going down a ladder. So my desktop is set to track one. My discord is set to track two. My mic is set to track three and studio one is set to track four. And the reason why you want to do this is for the, the audio separation. Like I was telling you, the audio separation is important. I'm going to open up a editing software. I use Vegas pro I'm going to drag and drop this in here. This is the clip that I just made. And as you can see, it separated all the audios. I got one, two, three, four. I got four audio tracks. So if my Discord, my Studio One, or if I was playing a game, all of that would have been displayed in each and one of these tracks. But right now, only my voice is. If you guys like, you guys could join my Discord. If you have any questions or you need help or something's not working out for you, um, I'll be happy to help. You can just join my Discord. Make sure you click identify and you choose the emoji corresponding to whatever you are, gamer, artist, producer, 
musician you have to click these in order to get access to the server so when you come when you join in you'll see the identify tab and you just click one of these and then you should have access to the server and then you can just at me so i hope the video was helpful if it was drop a like for me comment down below if you have any questions as well i can help you down there and yeah man